welcome and thank you for joining me today at Frugal Gamer. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the five money habits that you should be mastering. Alright, I think we should just jump right into this one. Number one is knowing basic skills. And what I mean by knowing basic skills is you should be knowing you should be able to know how to do the basics in just about everything. Basic uh, technician stuff, basic plumbing stuff, basic technological stuff, basic whatever. For example, I actually got a toolkit online. I forget where I got it, but it was it was about 18 bucks and then shipping was I want to say like 5 so, plus all the tax and all that, it was maybe 25 bucks that I spent, and it does a lot. I can actually now undo my game controllers and clean them like I wanted to. I can now screw things, or nail things into the wall. I can now <clears throat> screw and unscrew any sort of piece that I need to unscrew and open up and, you know, clean or whatever like that. I'm able to do, I'm able to put together bed frames. I actually, we, well, not me, but my husband and I, we actually helped this one couple move out of their apartment and into a home, and they didn't have any Allen wrenches for their metal slats uh, bed frame. So, what we did was we came back here, we grabbed the Allen wrenches, and then we went back over there, and then we actually helped to break it down, and then we helped to set it back up and everything. Alright, number two is going to be DIY items. DIY items, what I mean by that is you should know how to craft certain things. For example, if you are somebody who loves to buy purses, learn how to make your own purses. Or if you're somebody like me who prefers scented stuff, for example, candles and incense and bath bombs and all this smelly stuff, if you're one of those kind of people, learn how to make that stuff. I'm actually trying to convince my husband to learn how to make this stuff because I'm a smelly person. And, well, you know what I mean. And there we have pets and we garden and we do all this stuff. So smells and aromas are kind of helpful for us, for the lifestyle that we live. But uh, on top of that, you should also know how to make things like sculptures or wall art even or something like that. I know I say that with the Wolverine thing in the background. But uh, yeah, you should, you should learn how to make um, basic DIY projects. You should know basic skills. You should know a couple things. But, um, another thing you could do is when you're cooking food, make multiple servings. Don't just make some for you and the family and everybody gets a little bit. Make more. Make extra. Because if you make extra, most likely it's a cheap meal. If you have enough for the whole family. Most likely it's a cheap meal. And... What that usually indicates is that you are able to make a little bit more of it and then they can grab seconds and then they are less likely to go for that other food. On top of that, depending on what the meal is, they could be getting more minerals and vitamins into their system, which will also help on medical expenses in the future and any sort of uh, problems that may arise. All right, and then number four is keeping clean. What I mean by keeping clean is 
try to minimize certain things. For example, if you have a problem with buying clothes, try your best to cut that down to a specific number of articles of clothing, depending on how bad it is for you. I know for some people, they have to take very baby steps, but if you have the self-discipline for it, try to go for 200 or 150 articles of clothing and then keep bumping that down. That's going to save you a lot of money. You're going to have less time to sift through all those clothes and just, you know, well, if that, that's if you, that's your thing, though. Keeping, like, um... For me, I have a problem with stationery. I have a problem with both stationery and erasers. When it comes to erasers, I have that pretty tidy. It's in a oatmeal quart container thing. I, I think you guys, the, like the Quaker Oats container. That's exactly what it is. But, uh, yeah, I keep all my erasers in there underneath all my pens and all that but that way I know if I need it then there's a lot of erasers in there and then on top of that I didn't have to spend any money for a pencil holder because I am a businesswoman I am trying to build up a couple businesses on top of that a nonprofit organization etc etc but uh yeah, that's another thing that you can do. Keeping clean actually does surprisingly help with saving money. And then number five is actually going to be planning. Planning is very essential when it comes to saving money. How much money do you want to save in what amount of time? This time, or this time is supposed to be when I'm supposed to make this amount of money and if I don't do it, then I can stretch it to a week later or two weeks later or whatever the case may be. Whatever the event is or whatever you're saving for, if you can wait a little bit longer just in case you don't meet that deadline, it's probably a good thing to keep that in mind. Um, another thing with planning, you could be planning when you go to certain places. Plan your whole day. Try to plan your whole day. Obviously, not everything is going to go according to plan. Obviously, it's life. But try to schedule when you go to certain places. For example, whenever I'm going to go grocery shopping for produce, I don't just shop for produce. I also go to the store next to it, Family Dollar, and I buy frozen vegetables and drinks and you know whatever else that I need and I just make sure that if I'm going one place that's really close to another I need to go to I'm hitting both of those places in one go in one visit that way you're not spending money more money on gas and you're not wasting more time in the future But yeah, those are the five ways, or the five money habits that you should be mastering. Your basic skills, you should know how to use a wrench and an Allen wrench and a screwdriver. You should know how to <clears throat> use breakers and you should know how to look at files in your computer and your phone. You should know how to be able to program a coffee maker if you have to. Um, DIY items are one of the things that you could be doing. You could learn to make wall art or bath bombs or pillows like I do or whatever the case may be for you. Um, multiple servings when you're trying to feed your family. This can help money because you are saving money on medical expenses and extra food and etc etc those meals are usually pretty filling but uh the fourth one is keeping clean 
Keeping clean is going to help you save money because you see more space and you're like, yes, it looks cleaner. Let's keep going. Let's keep being organized. Don't buy into the impulse of, oh, I need this, I need that. <clears throat> keep everything clean. Keep everything tidy. Throw stuff out if you have to. Do what you gotta do. Planning. You should be planning your day. You should be planning ahead of time when it comes to your savings goals. You should be planning for your budget. You should be planning pretty much everything that you can that involves your money. Whether it's directly or indirectly. Alright. I will see you guys later. Let me know in the comments below if you like this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.